So hello there everyone and welcome, it is Niren here and today it is time for me to, uh, you can tell, I'm excited already, but it's time ladies and gentlemen, things have occurred finally. We've got some FIFA 18 career mode news as released by EA and Chesnoid Gaming today, literally five minutes ago as I'm recording this. I've gone on to EA, scribbled some notes and there's some juicy news ladies and gentlemen now. Obviously a lot of it has been leaked uh, when it comes to the beta or the FIFA 18 beta, uh, a lot of it got leaked on social media but for us guys we can't really report that because it's not really against the it, it, well it is against the rules so we can't really report that but today i'm going to give you I'm going to bring you two videos. This is the first one talking about the new transfer system on FIFA 18 Cremo because it has been overhauled massively going into this game. But if you want to see more videos like this, more FIFA 18 news, more career mode news and more career mode content in general, feel free to slap that subscribe button. And if you go on to enjoy this video, then slap the like button as well. You can do both simultaneously if you wish. But I know why you guys are here. So we're just going to slap straight on ahead into it. And it's to do with interactive transfer negotiations. So Obviously before on FIFA 17 you'd have a situation where you literally go onto your shortlist, you select a player, you make a bid for them and that page comes up where you put your transfer fee in, blah blah blah, then you go into the contract negotiations, forget that, it's a thing of the past now, that isn't the case anymore. We've got new interactive transfer negotiations. Now if you guys have ever played games like LMA Manager or Premier League manager like 2002, you guys might know where this is going. So the situation is no longer you literally go on a catalog and then put your bid in. You actually physically now have to meet players. It's real negotiations, like you would see in real life with a manager going and meeting representative, going and meeting the player, going and meeting the agent, and actually physically talking to them in person. Now, this isn't the only thing. There's also other things to do with transfers that I'll get onto in a moment, but this is the first thing. You can now negotiate in person with other teams' representatives, their managers, their players, and their agents on the screen. It's powered by Frostbite, and you physically see them. I'll have screenshots in the background. Now, as per usual with this sort of thing, there are two steps uh, when it comes to the transfers. The first step is that you meet in person in your office with the representative from the other team. So whether that be the actual manager from the other team or assistant or whatever. And that is to arrange a fee including clauses. So sell on clauses and potentially buyback clauses. I'm not entirely sure whether that's on the game but that would be something if it is on the game that's where you would agree that sort of thing. But obviously you agree the fee. So you put in a, you, well you don't put in a bid per se. You don't send off an email with a bid in. But you sort of haggle around the bid. So it's no longer a situation of sending off emails or whatever you physically see the person see the manager in front of you honestly if the if the guy next door could stop lo could stop mowing his lawn right now this is very important so once you've met in person, you then obviously, and you've you forced through a deal, you've negotiated with representative from the other team, you then go into negotiations with the player and their agent. So you're going to get a new cutscene in maybe a different office um, with the actual player that you're bidding for. So let's say you're bidding for Renato Sanchez. I saw a screenshot of that. Renato Sanchez will be sat on a sofa in front of you next to his agent. And this is where you bid, or where you, where you, you negotiate, sorry, wage, contract length, squad role, bonuses, all all that sort of stuff that you would usually do in the contract section on FIFA 17 as well now as release clauses that has been introduced so clauses are now in the game so as I mentioned earlier you've now obviously got the sell-on clauses potentially buyback clauses when it comes to the meeting with the manager or the representative from the other team you've also got release clauses that will be involved when it comes to the actual players negotiations in his contract etc so that's something to bear in mind release clauses don't put them too low otherwise you're going to be getting emails from other teams saying they've matched it and there's nothing you can do about it so that's going to be another dynamic that's added to FIFA 18 career mode I saw screenshots actually from the beta showing the email whether EA will release that at any point I'm not entirely sure but I, sh I saw on Twitter screenshots from the beta actually showing the email that you get if someone matches your release clause I might put some of those tweets down in the comment section for you guys but just shh, don't, don't say it came it didn't come from me okay so that's the main thing we've now got two steps and they're both interactive. So you meet the person, you meet representatives to sort of sort out the bid, the bidding process, the actual transfer deal, and then you actually meet up with a player and their agent to discover, uh, to discover, to discuss the actual personal details, the contract negotiations for the player. Same situation as on FIFA 17, but it's now interactive. You see the players and it's all very nice and dandy. We've got release clauses, we've got other sorts of clauses as well. And all of this is followed by when you sign the player, you get like an interactive dynamic new section which is also powered by Frostbite and it shows basically for example Romelu Lukaku holding a Manchester United shirt as if he's been actually presented in a press conference so it's a bit of a I mean it's realistically it's uh 
it's an aesthetic change. I don't think it's really going to be mind blowing, but you do at least get at least it shows that EA have done something. Um, now, what I want you guys to do is let me know what you think about these changes in the comments section. Do you think these are really going to help the game? Really going to change things that much, or do you not particularly care? I think it's a good step in the right direction because um, it's nice to see they're actually freshening things up and using the uh, the the technology used in the journey actually finally in career mode, which is what we were asking for last year. But it is pretty aesthetic. It's not going to change much about the game. What I do like, though, is release clauses and uh, general clauses. We've been asking for those for several years, so it's good to see that they're finally in. But is this just too aesthetic? Is it a little bit like Total Club Management, where it's not really going to change your career mode experience? Or do you think it's going to enhance it a lot? Drop it in the comment section. Whilst you're at it, slap a like on the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. There is more news. I'm going to bring that to you in a separate video. So if you really want to see that, then smash the like button, as I said, on this video. And I'll bring you sort of the extra random little bits on the side news that have also been uh, sort of added for FIFA 18 career mode. But let, let me know if you're excited. I'd love to hear whether you are. But for now, it has been a pleasure ranting at you guys today in a very exciting manner, despite the man mowing his lawn outside in the background. It has been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy yourselves. And goodbye. Yo, massive pills. I roll out with some monsters. Looks like your team and you watches. I you know roll with imposters. Time like the man in the Oscars. I'm drunk of Henry and Foster's. I have a career, I am jobless. This bitch you f me so hard. I might just end up unconscious. I like girls and lingerie. Especially if it is crossless. Bitch, I am the bigger picture. There is no way you can crop it.